Hey, this is Kyle Battis from here at NNH.com and we are gonna check out the Phoenix Hall building today. It was really cool to learn about the history of this really cool space. I've been coming to Bagel Works in downtown Concord for, for years, uh, for years and years and years, and I never knew this thing was upstairs. We're gonna go inside, take a look around, and then Mark, the owner of the building, is gonna talk about the future of what's coming with the Phoenix Hall and the vision of where he wants to take this amazing building. Well, it's an historic hall, as you can see. It was originally built in 1855. In 1860, Abraham Lincoln spoke here. His son was a student at Phillips Exeter Academy, and he came. He was doing a whistle-stop tour, contemplating a run for the presidency at that time, gave a rousing speech to a packed house about the issues of the day, slavery and the pending Civil War, and ultimately, just a few months after he spoke here, went on and announced his candidacy, obviously went on to become our 16th president of the United States. And Edwin Wilkes Booth, the brother of the guy who shot Lincoln was a Shakespeare vaudeville performer, and he performed up here. So we had Lincoln speak up here, we had the brother of the guy who shot Lincoln perform up here. So it is, the, the history is amazing. In 1912, Teddy Roosevelt spoke on this stage, pretty much as it is right now, with this in this room. So, I mean, we're go, so from president speaking, to boxing matches, to political events, theater, speeches, dances, all the big parties, this was the place the community gathered. Well, the purpose of the infill building, which is, as I say right now, is in, in Phoenix Ave here, mm -hmm. between Bagel Works and, and CVS, um, it really is, it'll, it'll serve many functions, but primarily will bring the building up to code. Right now, there are code issues and the elevator is substandard, so this whole infill building will be the new entrance to the building. Mm -hmm. The intent is to have it be a live music hall, mm -hmm. uh, four nights a week. We'll have a full bar, I mean a full kitchen back behind these rooms. And once we take out, once we build this, we'll be able to take out the existing elevator the existing stairwell mm -hmm. and that'll open up those two spaces add that space back in the room restore the curve of the balcony and then as you come through I wanted to have a full-length bar along this wall and but I wanted to have a real statement bar a real showpiece of when you walked in and just like took your breath away we had a great time checking out the Phoenix Hall uh, building and theater upstairs and the place is amazing like it's got some cool history to it um, Mark had some great stories about it and the vision I think he has for it is really cool so I'm looking forward to seeing how this whole un whole thing unfolds um, if you want to learn more about the project the history of this beautiful building um, and what Mark wants to do with it go check out thephoenixblock.com and you can learn more